viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Sale earns net profit of Rs 3,850 crore in the first quarter of financial year 22. And Barswa Iron Mines takes another step in employee welfare by inaugurating second RO plant at Barswa Valley. Sale welfare scheme plant rolls out high phosphorus HRN boys in hot fitness for the first time. And first surveillance audit ISO 9001-2015 QMS and ISO 14001-2015 EMS of Steel Township of Sale RSP Health. Enterprising endeavors of shops RSM of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant brings about substantial savings for the company. And Karamir Award function held at Personal Department of Sale RSP. Enterprising endeavor of Hot Strip Mill 1 Collective of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant brings about improved quality products and substantial savings for the company. And saplings were planted by new management trainees to mark one Mahotsav. Now the news in detail. Steel Authority of India Limited has declared the financial results for its first quarter, April to June 21, which reflects a robust performance in the Q1 FY 2021-22. Key highlights of sales performance during Q1 FY 22. Crude steel production, 3.770 million tons. Saleable steel sales, 3.327 million tons. Revenue from operation, rupees 20,642 crore. Reduction in gross borrowings during the quarter, rupees 5,063 crore. Commenting on the robust performance of the company, Srimati Soma Mondal, Chairman Sales, said, The company has been consistently seizing available opportunities to move up the value chain. The performance during the quarter bears the testimony to objective-driven strategy and resilience by the sale collective despite the adverse impact of dominant second wave of COVID-19. Though the demand for steel products in the quarter has not had the same momentum as during Q4 of FY21, focused interventions in several areas of operations have helped in achieving this robust performance. The demand in the later part of the year is expected to remain healthy with sustained domestic consumption coming from sectors like infrastructure, manufacturing, packaging, automotive, etc. as indicated from the present consumption cycle and future sectoral trends. On 28th July 2021, Barswa Iron Mines BIM of RSP took a welfare initiative by installing an RO plant at the Barswa Valley. The plant is having a capacity of 1000 litres per hour which will reserve the purpose of providing clean drinking water for the employees as well as the residents of the valley. This huge capacity RO water purifying plant was inaugurated by Mr. P. K. Rath, CGM, BIM, TIM, KIM, while other senior officials, members of trade union and some employees were also present at the occasion. The new RO plant installed is the second one in the premises of BIM, which has two townships, Tensa and Barswa Valley. The earlier plant was installed at Tensa, having the same capacity. Sale has been continually striving hard to improve its product basket for gaining edge in the global market. Recently, with the joint efforts of RDCIS, Sale and Hot Strip Mill 1 of Royal Glass Steel Plant, high phosphorus HRNO coil has been successfully rolled out. This would be used for producing cold rolled non-oriented steel used in manufacturing of electrical appliances like transformers and electrical motors. It is worth mentioning here that these research and development activities of SAIL and RSP are helping in strengthening and realizing the mission of Atmanirbhar Bharat. A project was taken up with RDCIS to develop 
higher grades of CRNO having low core loss properties with increase in the resistivity induced by phosphorus addition along with lesser silicon content compared to what is required in CRNO steel without added phosphorus. The steel was made at Steel Melting Shop 1 of RSP. Process chart for rolling of high phosphorus HRNO developed by RDCIS was reviewed by HSM team along with RCL. Different parameters like furnace zonal temperature, R2 temperature, finishing and coiling temperature, retention time in reheating furnace, draft schedule in roughing and finishing meal, mill speed etc. were discussed and fine-tuned as per the mill and process requirement. The addition of phosphorus to the extent of 0.1 to 0.15 percent modified the FECSI phase diagram to such an extent that it requires rolling of high phosphorus HRNO steel in dual phase with the anticipated high load in mill during hot rolling. For this adequate preventive measures were taken to process the steel at higher temperature without any holding in the meal. Trial rolling of first high phosphorus HRNO steel heat was taken up in HSM1 on 22nd July 2021. All the pre-decided parameters were closely monitored from slab charging in the furnace to finished coil discharge from coiler. The rolling of all five slabs from the heat was executed under the supervision of Mr. D. Datta, CGM HSM. The key members of the team were Mr. Atish Chandra Sarkar, CGM Quality, Mr. Chandan Samal, GM RCL, Mr. D. K. Yadav, GM HSM, Mr. H. S. Alabadi, GM HSM, Mr. M. P. Mahanti, AGM HSM and Mr. Chitranjan Mishra, GM in charge, SSM. These coils were further rolled at SSM and converted to CRNO. The properties achieved for these CRNO coils will be measured and on confirmation, this new grade will be commercialized. The main advantage of CRNO steel is the low core clause. Different grades of CRNO steel is categorized depending upon the degree of watt loss properties. Cost of production of higher grades of CRNO steel increase because of high silicon content and the associated process to obtain the relative magnetic properties. This will definitely fetch a high value for the plant. The first surveillance audit of ISO 9001-2015 QMS and ISO 14001-2015 EMS of Steel Township of Say Rolgla Steel Plant concluded on 6 August. Mr. P. K. Satpati EDPNA presided over both the inaugural and closing sessions. Auditors, HODs and senior officials of Energy Management Department, HRD Centre, Town Engineering, Town Services and CSR joined the meeting. Speaking at the concluding session, Mr. Satpati thanked the auditors for meticulously auditing the systems and procedures for helping the plant enhance its credibility. He assured the auditors that the finding of the audit and the issues raised by them will be taken care of with necessary compliance and implementation. The auditors in turn thanked the collective for extending their cooperation and discussed at length the finding of the audit for further improvement. The audit was conducted by Mr. L. C. Jain, Lead Auditor and Mr. S. S. Soni, Auditor of Messrs. GUV. The scope of the audit as laid and agreed included provision of electricity, water, civil engineering, maintenance, public health, horticulture, sports, services in Rolkala House, Ispath Hill View, social welfare and CSR activities. The program was coordinated by Ms. Chaitali Das GMBE. The enterprising endeavors of Shops Repair Shop Mechanical Collective of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant has helped in successful completion of a critical job of refining and machining a turbine rotor of power blowing station, a unit of captive power plant 
This resulted in reduction of man hour delays by three days and a substantial financial savings for the plant. Notably, there are three turbo blowers in PBS and CPP1. They operate at 59 kg per square centimeter steam pressure and at 485 degree centigrade temperature with a steam flow of 60 TPH. The steam enters the turbine through four control valves and then passes through 14 HP and LP blades. These blades have fining arrangement very accurately placed and clearances are usually 0.5 to 0.7 mm. After running for approximately 5 years, the machine was taken for shutdown and capital repair and rotor of turbine along with stationary guide blades of different segments and brought to RSM for refining and machining to accurate sizes. This was a very intricate and highly skilled job. The fins with a width of 0.3 mm fitted into groove of 2 mm depth with caulking wires of 1.2 mm diameter were removed by machining with use of special tools made in house. New fins that are 80 on both the sides were fitted and machined to specified sizes as per drawing. Old fins were also removed from rear gland, front gland and balancing piston and new fins refitted and machining was carried out. Finally, Turbine rotor was dynamically balanced using lock plate designed and made in shop and unbalance was kept within norms. These fins were never machined out in shops in past and always done manually at site. Being a first time job, it did not have any standard procedure and required highly skilled intervention and expertise. Karamveer Award distribution function was held at Personal Conference Hall of Sale, Rorkela Steel Plant on 31st July. Mr. Rajendra Mishra, CGM PNA, presided over the function and handed over the awards to Ms. Smruti Sri Panda, Executive Assistant, and Ms. Madhusmita Mishra, Executive Assistant, for the month of May and June 2021, respectively. Present on the occasion were Mr. T.J. Kanekar, GMPL, projects and other senior officers and staff of the department. The awardees were awarded for their outstanding contributions towards achieving the objectives of the organization. Ms. Smruti Sri Panda managed tasks like pass recommendation, pin generation, work order ID generations, contractors ID generations, diary dispatch, etc. In addition to her normal responsibility of processing CLC clearances without impacting the quality or, or efficiency of the jobs. However, Ms. Madhusmita Mishra managed tasks like processing of CLC clearances SD clearances, diary dispatch, recommendation of various category of passes in addition to her normal responsibility of CLC passes recommendation, pin generation, work order ID generation, contractors ID generation without impacting the quality or efficiency of the jobs. The winners were felicitated with a certificate of appreciation and a trophy. At the outset, Mr. T.G. Kaneka, GMPL projects lauded their performance during difficult times and narrated incidences of situations when mostly whole of the office was down with COVID, how they did their best to support works departments. The program was coordinated by Ms. Subra Rajeshwari, Assistant Manager, PL Recruitment. The enterprising Hot Strip Mill 1 collective of Sail Rorkela Steel Plant has successfully emulated marker pulse via an inductive proximity switch with necessary allied activities. This has considerably reduced cobble generation and yield losses. At the same time, it has paved the way for use of a general purpose incremental encoder. Earlier, a much costlier special one was used in crop shear. This initiative has brought about substantial savings for the company. 
It may be noted that the crop share of hot strip mill 1 has been plagued with the problem of double rotation during head and tail end cut since last month. This phenomenon was random and sometimes led to big size head cuts causing cobbles and yield loss. Apprehending an anticipatory move not only caused delays but also lowered the temperature of the transfer bar, thereby increasing mill load and adversely impacting quality of HR coil and reducing HR coiled yield as well. Even after initial analysis of various parameters of crop shear in in-house implemented process data acquisition system followed by suitable replacement of the encoder and its cable, the cut pulse continued to miss occasionally and the problem of double rotation persisted. The team comprising of Mr. C. Nayak, GM, HSM2, Mr. R. R. Mohanty, AGM, HSM1, Mr. D. Sarangi, Mr. H. K. Sahu, Mr. S. K. Pradhan, Mr. B. K. Swai, led by Mr. R. K. Muduli, GM in charge, HSM Electrical, took up the challenge under the supervision of Mr. D. Datta, CGM HSM. A thorough brainstorming was done involving area in charges and workmen, and the resultant idea was implemented. By using this innovative idea, not only the above problem was eliminated, but also paved the way for opting for a general purpose incremental encoder. It is noteworthy that the cost of one special encoder for crop shear costs about 5 lakhs rupees, whereas a general purpose encoder costs about rupees 60,000. 52 management trainees who joined Raurkela Steel Plant last month participated in plantation drive organized at the Trainees Hostel Sector 5 on 10th August 2021. The plantation drive was held by Mr. P. K. Satpati, EDPNA. Present on the occasion were Ms. R. Banerjee, CGM HRD, and other officials of RSP. Approximately 60 saplings were planted in the lawn in front of Trainees Hostel. Advising the new entrants, Mr. Satpati said that planting alone shall not suffice. They should nurture them as well for ushering in a clean and green future. Sharing his thoughts on the occasion, Mr. Rajesh Kumar Tripathi, MTT, said, It is plantation drives like these that make Raurkela a green and beautiful city. It is noteworthy that RSP launched its mass plantation drive on 7 July with the inauguration of an exclusive new plantation zone, Ispat Upal Udyan, at Sector 8. The steel plant has chalked out a detailed plan to plant around 1 lakh saplings both within the steel plant area and in the township. Notably, RSP has so far planted more than 51 lakh saplings in and around Raurkela, thereby creating a luxuriant canopy of green and salubrious ambience. RSP, in the course of celebrating one Mahotsav, organized a plantation drive from the hands of fresh addition to the RSP family. RSP plantation festivals are celebrated in various areas of the township, gardens, plant area, etc. There is enough said about the significance of forests and trees that help us to maintain ecological balance and keep the carbon footprint low, but still trees are being felled and burnt without any concern for the ecological damage being caused, and all this despite the awareness about the importance of trees and the significance of planting new trees. To eliminate the doings of mankind towards the nature, such initiatives are being encouraged on a mass scale. That's all for the news today. Namaskar. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos.